Hey everybody and welcome to The Indie Guy. I'm The Indie Guy, Jonathan Moody, and I'm here to tell you guys about the cool pickups that I've got in the last, I think, week. It's been literally a week since last Tuesday or Monday. Monday, last Monday. So last Monday I went to um, out to Newport News and um, I'm trying to remember the place I went to. Uh, it was called Secondhand Charles. And I never heard of it. Uh, one of my friends recommended it to me, so I decided I'd go check it out. I was looking in the Blu-ray bin, uh, Blu-ray stuff, and um, I found this, which I uh, co- don't know if it completes yet. I think I've got one more uh, Quentin Tarantino thing to get. I've got to get like Death Death Proof, and I'm gonna get where I'm gonna get like the Grindhouse collection, where I get both Death Proof and uh, Planet Terror. That way, it's Probably a little bit more expensive, but but definitely worth it. So we go Jackie Brown. Uh, I used to I did not like this movie when I first watched it, and then I watched it years later. I loved it. So um, definitely definitely a good one. Next one or next two I'm gonna mention because they came together are two Vince Vaughn movies that I got at Best Buy um, the other day. Actually, it's a couple. Let's see when was it Friday. It's Monday now. Um, I'm gonna say maybe it's Saturday. Yeah, it was like Saturday. I got it. Um, and uh, I got these two. Uh, the internship and old school. I have this on uh, DVD. I don't have this on DVD, but I have this one on DVD. Uh, but I'd rather have the Blu-ray for it. So. Um, if I need to watch it on DVD, I can watch it on DVD, but if I want to watch it on Blu-ray, here you go. Um, let's see. Now, right after, um, the, after I got those, that same day, I went to Goodwill, and, uh, I was looking around for a couple things, and I found this, which is, uh, Dodgeball, uh, another Vince Vaughn movie, and, uh, I'm just a big fan of him. Uh, so I want to collect as many stuff, and I don't know, I will probably might get this on Blu-ray at some point, but it's alright, uh, we'll see at some point. The other one is House Bunny, uh, with, uh, Anna Ferris, and, uh, I love her to death, she's really great, and, um, she, uh, she cracks me up, um, don't know if this is any good, I've always kind of heard mixed reviews, so have you seen any of these movies, you know? Please uh, let us know. So there you go. Alright, on to the big one that, um, so I went down to a pawn shop uh, today called um, Cash Converters. And I'd never been there. But apparently all of their DVDs were like a dollar a piece. And all their, and they had like a Blu ray bin for, um, you know, a dollar a piece. And, uh, like a Blu-ray, uh, and DVD dollar bin. So, I got this, which is the Gentleman's Bronco. Uh, or Gentleman Broncos. That's, uh, by the, the, the creators of Napoleon Dynamite. Which I wasn't a big fan of Napoleon Dynamite, but I, I was thinking for a dollar I'd give this a try. There wasn't much more in there than I was interested in. The Brothers McMullen. I love this movie. If you have not seen this movie, it is pretty good. Um, it's it's supposed to include a uh, booklet, but it did not contain that. Uh, this is, you know, used copy. I was just glad it had it. And all of these actually were in really good condition. Like, I don't believe, like, barely any scratches. So, that's good. I Love You, Beth Cooper, which I have not seen, but... It, you know, it looks kind of goofy and funny and kind of romantic comedy, kind of teen comedy thing. I don't know. I'll give it a try. Uh, there's not much in the form of, like, extras on this. Then, uh, Cedar Rapids, which is Ed Helms, and I've never even heard of this. But apparently it comes with the digital copy as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, looks kind of goofy. I thought that was Steve Carell for a little bit. And then I realized it was Ed Helms. So, there you go. Postgrad. I've been wanting to see this movie for a long, long time. Uh, I keep seeing, like, the preview for it on different other movies. And it comes with, like, two discs. Um, this is the digital copy, I guess. This is in the second disc. 
but it's got like uh, deleted scenes and, and other you know featurettes and stuff like that music videos so I'm kind of interested I wish I had uh, commentary or something you know but I don't know we'll see I'm interested in watching it but those are all the blu-rays so five blu-rays for five dollars man not bad not bad at all all right so, here's the 10, 10 of them. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm going to go through all of them. I have a, I had a copy of this. I still have the um, the thing, which is good, because of the, the case, because I believe it's signed, um, the original case. Uh, so I may just swap this out, and I don't know, do something with this one. But there you go. Uh, Drawing Flies, good Jason Lee movie, uh, produced by Kevin Smith. Uh, so, I'm, you know, of course, big fan of that. Get them to the Greek. Love it. This is going to my Jed Apatow collection. Uh, one of my favorite movies. I don't have it yet, and I was very glad I got to pick it up. Uh, it's got the rated and unrated version. So, here you go. Um, my cat's making some crazy noises. All right. Home for the Holidays. Uh, it's a like it's a Jodie Foster uh, directed movie. That stars Robert Downey Jr. And the reason I picked this up was because there. Okay, well, it comes with commentary from Jodie Foster, which would sound pretty cool. But um, apparently, there was a story that Robert Downey Jr. told where he was like, I don't know, high or on either on drugs or drunk, and he was ending up um, in a um, tra in his trailer, kind of acting like a. Uh, an idiot, and uh, and Jodie Foster saw him, and, and he told this story, and, and ever since I heard that story, I've been, like, wanting to watch this kind of movie, uh, watch this flick, but, um, we'll see how it is, um, I've n I don't know, maybe I've seen it years ago when it was on, uh, TV or something, alright, so I've been wanting to watch this for a long time, uh, and I'm glad it's got, like, director and, and screenwriter and producer commentary track on it but it's uh, Fallen um, I had seen it years ago but I remember this movie freaked me out um, made me start wondering because it's like one of those movies where you don't know uh, who the killer is and everything and it's got a huge amazing cast like Denzel Washington John Goodman, Donald Sutherland James Gandolfini and Elias Cot Cotius I don't know if that's how you say his name exactly, but the guy from the Casey Jones from the original uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, it's pretty cool. Alright, Curse of Chucky. You know, I've been wanting to have this on a on, on Blu-ray or whatever, or DVD or anything. Um, it's got commentary and stuff too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. All Cheerleaders Die. Uh, directed, Co-directed by Lucky McKee and Chris Sivitson. I don't know if it's like their first movie that they ever did or something. I think this is what they did like um, in, uh, I don't know, in, when they were in like college or something. But um, I don't know. Or they redid it or something because they got, it's got like Michael Bowen who's been in a bunch of movies and it's, um, you can't kill their spirit. I'm excited. I can't wait to see kind of this kind of, uh, comedy horror film. Uh, it looks pretty good. Alright. So, uh, this is a double feature. So, I technically got 11 movies for 10 bucks. Uh, because it's got The Curve, which is kind of a, uh, I want to say it's like a thriller version of Dead Man on Campus. Like, the idea that if your roommate dies, you get, um, straight A's. So, they try to, uh, kill the people to make them end up, uh, you know, uh, or kill the people and make it look like a suicide. So that sounds kind of fun. And it's got Matthew Willard. I mean, as like the, I think he's the main star of this too. Um, Carrie, Carrie Russell's in it too. Holy cow! Why isn't she in the? Yeah, Carrie Russell, Felicity herself. So that's pretty cool. Then Militia. Uh, which is a Dean Cain movie. And that's all you need to know. It's a Dean Cain action movie. Jennifer Beals is in it as well. And, um, uh, never heard of any. Oh, Stacey Keach. 
Yeah. Can't go wrong with Stacy Keach, generally. Uh, Stakeland. Um, which also, wow, a, a two feature length cast and crew commentaries. Is Danielle Harrison in any of the commentaries? Does not look like it. That's a bummer. But Danielle Harris is in this movie. I've been wanting to see it. Um, it looks pretty awesome. It's a, a vampire flick. Uh, so, looks pretty cool. Um, and then I Love Your Work, which I've seen years ago. And uh, I loved. Uh, it's directed by Adam Goldberg, who, if you remember him from Dazed and Confused, he was the, um, uh, he was the Jewish... Jewish guy uh, from Days and Confused. I don't know if there's other Jewish guys. Not Matthew Mc... Well, Matthew McConaughey's an injury. Whatever, you know. Like, he's the Jewish guy from it. So, there you go. Uh, it's also got, like, a huge cast in it. Uh, Giovanni Ribisi, Joshua Jackson, Marissa Coughlin, Jason Lee. So, there you got two Jason Lee movies. I didn't even plan that. Um, Jared Harris and uh, uh, Elvis Costello. Um, so, that's pretty cool. It's... I think it had more cast than that. I think there was Christina Ricci. Why isn't she even listed on the front? Christina Ricci's in it. I mean, it's got, you know, awesome cast. Just probably friends of Adam Goldberg, and he asked them to come in the movie and do that. It's about a guy who gets, like, you know, um, uh, was it an actor who gets stopped? You know, it's pretty you know, intense and interesting. Then, talk radio is last. So this is the last movie of all of them. Wow, that's what, 10, 5, 17, 18, 19, I think like almost 20 movies that I've got in the past week. So that is freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, Talk Radio, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie or not, but it is pretty good. It's basically this um, guy, Barry Champlain, who's a uh, radio, talk radio show guy. It's kind of based off of a true story um basically this guy was about to leave and and go to a bigger um you know thing and a uh, bigger company and before he went he did his like one last broadcast and he had like all the crazy people calling in and then kind of shows flashbacks it's directed by oliver stone uh i was hoping oliver stone did commentary track or at least eric bogosin who wrote and starred in it um eric uh, co I think he co-wrote the screenplay with Oliver and uh, what's interesting about that is that um, that Eric wrote this this amazing play you know talk radio and um, and then Oliver came in and, and you could tell where they worked together on it because you know Eric probably just wrote the actual play and then Oliver just took the stuff that's not in the play because there's stuff where, you know, it goes off into other things. Because, you know, as a movie, you don't really want to watch somebody just talk, you know, and at a, um, what is it, uh, in a play, it's okay, you know, but in a, in a movie, you want some action, you want stuff going on, and there's a good amount of stuff. There's, it's got John C. McG uh, McGinley. Um, I remember him from a bunch of stuff. And Michael Wincott um, has got this hilarious role. Alec Baldwin is in it. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's a good movie. And um, I saw a bunch of copies of this. And uh, there's a few copies of some different, I think I Love Your Work had a few copies. and So it was really cool to see, like, you know, some of these. But I wanted those for sure because those those were movies I really wanted to get. Especially Drawing Flies. I was actually, you know, what's funny is I was looking at Drawing Flies on, uh, you know, on line today on Amazon. And it was like for 32 cents, I could have got it. And it would have been 32 cents plus shipping. So it would have been 4 32 or something like that. And instead of getting that, I, I just went to the store and found it. So I was very happy to find everything that I did. Um, so check out Cash Converters if you have one in your local, around your local town. Um, also, you know, um, this uh, Second and Charles is really good. They're just, they're a little bit more pricey because I don't think they're like used necessarily. They're not like a pawn shop or anything. So, uh, but a dollar, a, a DVD, 
a dollar a DVD at um, Cash Converters is a really good deal. So I was pretty, pretty happy with that. I'll, I think I'll be going back next week. So expect another um, one probably on like Tuesday or Wednesday where I'm just letting you guys know all the stuff I pick up for the week. All right, well, thank you guys so much for checking this out. Um, I will be doing new videos coming up soon. All right, bye.